What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money and Pop. I have a really important announcement to make, ladies and gentlemen. Something for the future of this YouTube channel. Uh, but first, let me go into the intro before I mention this. Vortex now has splash damage in the running explosive expert skill. That means even Rook Titans now take direct full damage. So let me show you what we're talking about. Explosive expert skill means there is splash damage now. The update is live with the vortex. Otherwise we could not choose that skill. And with the explosive expert we get even more splash damage allowing us to make hits that would otherwise not be possible. You see here Thermite as a comparison does not have that skill yet um, because it has not received the buff. So no splash damage on Thermite yet. I hope it's coming too. Um, but you see the Vortex with 52,000 damage per rocket, no, per hit on, on the weapon, on each of those four Vortex we are running on the Typhon, for example. 200,000 already so, and uh, with damage boost we can make that 600,000 or 500,000. These setups are being used here in this video, so let's go and enjoy uh, the Vortex that finally has gotten splash damage and that can finally score hits that uh, previously didn't count. Um, of course, still you still miss some shots, but it's definitely better because look, look, this guy, for example, took almost no damage, um, even though it should have been a better hit, but it still happens. But yeah, so for now, let's just enjoy the gameplay and let me tell you something that I that hurts my soul a little bit, but. It has to be said. Ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be a change coming up on the channel very soon. Um, and uh, some of you might might not be surprised to hear that something like this is, is in discussion. Let me sh first show you something funny. Um, see the scorpion right there? Look what I'm doing to him. I'm launching the vortex at him, but he's teleporting back in the meantime when the rockets are fired. Look at this. Woods! Whoa! <laughs> And I was so happy when this happened, man. Yeah, I am having fun with the Vortex, but still, as as fun as Vortex is, I do have to face a uh, reality, which is War Robots right now isn't really doing this well anymore. And you guys have said it multiple times in the comment section, told me to, hey, Manny, you may have to look for something else. And of course, I know this. <laughs> uh, I'm not stupid. I know these things as well, but um, it, it hurts my soul to even just think about it because I really love War Robots, but... We all know there are many problems in the game and we have to face a future in which War Robots may or may not be there for us. Um, and, uh, and since I have to keep my channel going as well, I do have to consider other options. And for this, I believe I have an answer. There's a game coming out very soon with robots and combat and gameplay and customization of your robots to the fullest extent. It's probably the most amazing thing you could ever imagine. And it has zero microtransactions, dude. It's just full. You earn it, it's yours. And no overpowered stuff, no nerfing stuff. It's gonna be perfect. So for that reason, I don't want to say just now what it is because I have the video already prepared and ready. And the big announcement comes tomorrow. Okay, so if you're interested to hear what will be happening on the channel in the future, keep in mind, I'm not replacing War Robots, but right now for the beginning, I will show you other games, uh, another game too. One other game, and we're running it maybe side by side. Um, and then it depends on you, kind of, how you, what you think. But I know for sure you're gonna be <laughs> very interested in this game. And there's gonna be an announcement here um, that will happen when this countdown reaches zero. So ladies and gentlemen, in the video description pinned comment down below is a countdown running. This is what you've just seen there. And once that reaches zero, check out the link, click it on and you'll see when it reaches zero, that's when my video comes out with the big announcement, what we will do here on the channel, aside from War Robots going forward. And depending on how well War Robots stays relevant, we're gonna keep doing War Robots because I love it. But if uh, things go worse and worse and worse, I, I, it's just, I have no other choice but to consider other options too. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I've never said something of these, of this before, but um, it's uh, something that I have to um, think about. So that announcement will happen. Look at that Umugi taking so much damage. Uh, once that countdown reaches zero, uh, um, except for that, if you don't want to watch that countdown, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the video, um, 3 p.m. Central European summer time. Uh, so uh, my German time, basically. So uh, hopefully you guys and gals will be ready for me. 
uh, with me to uh, to see what it's going to be. I I'm very hyped. I'm very excited because that new game is really is really it just piqued my interest. It's just saying it just piqued my interest would be so under under uh, understatement. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. Um, and I think it will be something for you. Here, I was really, I don't know, he, he already knew that I was gonna do that, apparently. Uh, but yeah, uh, face shifted right through. Um, let's enjoy Vortex some more. And uh, and then tomorrow, hopefully you're ready, hopefully you're gonna watch it. I, I, the, the topic will not be called Warobot, so you, you may have to check on the channel manually, because if you have only watched War Robots content on this channel, chances are the video isn't even getting suggested to you uh, and shown to your feed uh, in YouTube when you when it's a different topic. Uh, but um, it is something you definitely want to see, I'm sure of it. <laughs> so I hope I got you hyped as well. We'll see tomorrow how much and... Uh, woo! Yeah! I, I also I am also hyped about the vortex by the way although I do must say I wonder why it's just vortex being affected but why is there no thermite and aphid included inclusion with this buff because they need it just as much they have the same problems okay we're running the Typhon right now with face shift in the next match we're running it with shield break because this way I can hit those Typhons Mars robots even uh, other robots that use the uh, stake and the harpoon weapons and have an energy shield because of that uh, I can hurt them too right through their shields it's gonna be very important I think vortex kind of needs shield bypass nowadays and today's meta if you don't have shield break then very often you're just gonna be left without damage on your vortex thermite or aphid that's why the uh, crisis robot is such an ideal thing to use here um, I should have fired in sequence I, and also there's another shield underneath um, but yeah I I really the crisis robot is a dream for thermite because it allows you to shield break every time you fire even increasing the shot damage that you do every time you fire with the same cooldown as the thermite reloads it's just it's like it's made for this weapon uh, but at the same time why does thermite not get the splash damage pixonic please do it it needs to happen um, and uh, I, I I think really it's a uh, look at this look at this boots what was that it was a player from the gods clan dude he just got one tap how did I just one-tap this guy? Uh, probably because uh, it was an Emugi or something. I don't know, was it an Emugi? But he took so much damage. One hit, dude, gone. <laughs> if I was him, I would be having a new goal for the rest of this match now. And that goal would be called, look who's stalking. Uh, I, I hate when it happens, but I, I let's just let's be honest, man. I'm the same. If some, somebody does that with me, next, guy, next, next thing that happens, he, I, I'll, I'll be coming for you, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Woo! Alrighty. Vortex on uh, Factory map. Um, remember how we love Factory back in the days? Because there's acid on the ground that you can use with uh, overdrive. And uh, when you run three overdrives, you would be able to activate overdrive by standing in acid and uh, getting your robot below the regeneration uh, uh, you know, threshold. Uh, and you know, this is how we utilized factory back in the day. It's quite funny actually, but um, That's not what we need to do anymore because thankfully there is no such thing as an overdrive Anymore because you know nobody wants to run it um, Because a uh, nuclear amp is like a million times better. It just doesn't only increase your health. It gives you re uh, You know resistance breaking abilities. It, give it even gives you a heal back at some point It's insane and then you get it with just one module the same amount of damage boost that you got before with the overdrive uh, From three modules. It's like a, a different universe in which the nuclear amps perform compared to uh, the overdrives They're like so unattractive now um, but um, well if they would remove the threshold from the overdrive, you would actually see people use it. Because now you could use overdrive as an individual mod module to just increase damage more by 25% just using one of them, for example, right? Or if the threshold would be different, like it would just be 90%. Even if you use just one module, it's damage you need to take is like 90% and, and it will not move away anymore. Something like this. 
that you would still sometimes see it, but right now, there is really not any reason for overdrive anymore. But I just got the idea of speaking, speaking about it because I, I realized that this is what we used Factory so much for in the beginning. All kinds of uh, self-damage dealing effects that you could utilize, also lava in uh, other maps, right? Um, in uh, Abyss, for example, that uh, not too many people did it because, la uh, uh, you know, uh, Abyss came so late that people already had nuclear amplifier. But, um, yeah, it wasn't the case with Factory. Anyways, we're here dealing some decent damage against this, uh, what's that called? Um, angler robot. Yeah, he has a physical shield, but you know what? That physical shield doesn't matter now. Now that we have Explosive Expert with splash damage on the Vortex, it's so good. We have to worry about the energy shields, unfortunately, still, but that is it. Um, and uh, everything else we can drop, and that is really, really cool. I like it. Uh, also, throwing that Mars turret. Good combination, by the way, Mars and uh, Vortex, because both are explosive-type-based weapon with splash damage. Both have the same thing, build up on each other, dropping energy shields and then benefiting from it with your Vortex, or the other way around. Uh, both of them don't require line of sight. It's another thing they have in common. You can throw the turret behind cover and it will shoot the enemy. You can shoot this weapon behind cover and you'll deal damage to the enemy and you don't need to show yourself for it. Very interesting concept and that's why, although you have not really seen many... Um, Mm, many Vortex Mars before. I know they do exist, I've seen a few, but there are not too many of them. And by the way, do you notice how the Reaper guy in my team every 8 seconds ruins one player completely? A second ago it was a Harpy in the air, pom 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 pom, Harpy dead. 8 seconds later he's reloaded for 7 seconds, pom 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 pom, Kepri dead. Every 8 seconds one of the enemy dies because we have one Reaper guy in our team and Pixonic thinks it's cool to allow a weapon to just basically ignore any type of defense system and just instantly kill any player no matter what. Even that Aether! Did you see it? That's a full Aether flying up in invincible ability mode, but the Reaper guy in our team, and he's not even set using Reaper Mark III, but by the way, his name is quite funny. I'm not gonna say where the name is on the screen right now. You can find it yourself, but ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy, Aether. Uh, pom, 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 bye, Aether! Yeah, you, would so you were supposed to take zero damage because you are in your ability, but th now is Reaper in the game. And this is exactly why I have to leave, perhaps leave this game. Um, or this is why at least I have to consider other options. Because exactly what happens with Reaper is what kills war robots. And uh, what happens with other weapons that were good and are now nerfed. And it always has to happen because it has to be too powerful and ridiculous in the beginning. And it has to be game breaking when it comes out to then be automatically nerfed later three months down the line when people spend money. And it, it's bad enough that things cost real money in the game. But it's even worse when the very fact that this is a monetization model causes. Um, causes the game developers or the game company to build everything around this uh, around this to just make things too powerful every single time and then have to nerf it it's just so annoying and I absolutely can't stand this anymore it's so much oh yeah and it's been going on for so long and it had its repercussions all the time. Like we've been seeing the performance drops on the videos on Warobots for all these years. And um, eventually I have to come up with a, with some, some other ideas. We have to draw a conclusion and make consequences or something, you know, actions. Anyways, I see that our team isn't doing so well on Beacon Progress right now. So let's see uh, what's happening over here. Uh, I can capture this beacon away, which is very important. Thankfully, my team also comes in from another angle and says, all right, you know what, guys, we need to get to ca be some beacons. And in uh, some very nice combined effort, my team has basically at the same time pulled, pulled our strength together uh, and, uh, yeah, made a difference here. Look at this, we're all coming in, taking this beacon, I just took the other one. My team, meanwhile, all the, uh, over the distance has fought and gotten the other one. Now the Loki's going to use jump unit to quickly just get to the other. I also in uh, instantly switch to beacon capture mode in my head and uh, get the other remaining beacon that, you know, the Loki can only get one at a time, he can't get both at the same time. So trying to help him out here, capture and turn the, the map as quick as possible. Um, even risking my uh, Mars for it, but it's important that this happens and BOOM! 
Good damage done, throwing the turret in this guy's face. Um, that is gonna eventually drop him. And uh, fire at this guy at the same time too. Pop, pop, pop. Bam, bam, bam. Almost gotten the Seraph down. It wasn't quite enough, but the Titan is gone. We have turned around all the beacons on the map, which is really amazing. Uh, and so, yeah, we're actually winning this match that looked like it was a total loss just a minute ago. So, great combined uh, strength from our team. Everybody switched into save the game mode, right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, awesome. I love when this happens. This is the, the attraction of War Robots, is that team play. Is that awesome together, you know? This community is what makes War Robots so amazing, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. This, it's us who make this game cool, you know? And Pixonic could be doing a lot more to keep it cool too, but uh, unfortunately Reaper is, for example, the uh, other Rook Titan as well. Or many other examples we've seen over the years and... Yeah, this is what moves me to an um, to a drastic to make dra dra drastic steps, such as uh, coming up with um, with alternative plans for the future. Which at this point, um, other people, other creators out there may still have their main jobs. I quit my job many years ago and focused 100% on YouTube because I realized there's a lot of potential in it, and I um, it was a brave step. It was maybe even dangerous, but it worked. But that means I'm really now dependent on this channel, and I need to keep. Uh, I need to make sure that it's we, we're here we're having uh, we have all something to enjoy here on the channel going forward no matter what may happen to war robots so um yeah again when that countdown reaches zero be with me from for me there tomorrow it would be awesome if you are I, I hope you're interested in it I hope I could hype you up on this as well and tomorrow is the re reveal what it's gonna be maybe you can already brainstorm and see what it uh, consider what it is might be in the comments right so yeah thanks for watching no 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 thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more thanks for bearing with you, you guys are awesome as always Manny signing off bye bye